into. He like he 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 seems the way he's playing to be more confident on on the Rayman. Like he's throwing out a lot more signatures. Of course, like the D Sig over on the corner when he has gauntlets. Like that's that's a given. That's one you can throw out very safely. But he's also like very uh, he, he's definitely feeling how strong the Axe D Sig is as well. Like mm -hmm. he, maybe not as much in like the previous set, but in other sets today he's been using the the D Sig a lot on that Axe as well. So yeah, it just seems like he's much more confident. And I'm not sure exactly why. But that's the way the cookie crumbles on any given Sunday, or in this case, any given Saturday. At the moment, Akno needs to find a way to make it back onto the stage. Finally picks up those gauntlets. He gets knocked up, uh, but unfortunately, just going to be eating that side sig. Knees knocked all the way to the left side. Akno, not enough to take Godly off the top either. Okay. I guess that, okay. I just guess that does it. Even from the far side of the stage, able to make contact and find a stock. Knees the only one still living on first. Godly. No, he's going to completely disengage. Again, he's playing safely here so that Blaze can spawn back in so he doesn't get cooked in a 2v1 or anything like that. Just smart gameplay, and I think that's Godly and Blaze both showing how much they respect Akno and Knees as competitors. Yeah, the game is slowing down for a second, who right? Hakno able to get that down who tries to keep landing on top of Godly who with all these different down who's such a nice, safe way to be able to land, and Godly keeps wanting to chase people super, super aggressively off the top of the stage. Godly not able to get the recovery, not able to get the GC sidelight, and Akno makes sure that he properly gets punished for it. Godly occupying the ground, able to get that end light, chase dodging up, being nice and patient. What's it gonna be? No sidelight quite yet. Jumps back onto the stage. Godly just being really meticulous, isn't he? He even backed away from the edge where knees was he chose not to go gauntlet be gauntlet against knees mm -hmm. on the corner oh I, I thought several people were going to get picked up in that moment on the right side there's the d sig not enough to ko knees just barely holding on to this second stock even that wasn't enough picked up just a little bit too low still wasn't enough but the question is what can you do with it and the answer is not a whole lot akno just gonna be optic to go off stage which honestly if i'm fighting against spew and gauntlet i don't want to do that knees Stop it. Wake up. You don't want to do that to your teammate because look at Akno. Knees able to save him, but for how long? The answer is not long at all as Akno's last stock is going to be gone. Knees left to fend for himself all the way off the top. Godly wanted to steal it and the double ground pound oh. weapon toss. GCD sick doesn't connect. Okay. It was cute, but is it enough, Spokey? Probably is it enough? not. This is, uh, it, obviously it's all still winnable, but Knees is very red. Godly and Blaze are fresh on this stock. There's, of course, the D-Sig. Blaze was there, ready to cover the low side. He was covering low there as well with the inlight and ended up hitting his teammate as Knees was still over on the corner. The inlight is going to be the KO again. Blaze and Godly showing a lot of respect to their opponents in that moment. He could have chose to go off stage because, like, worse comes to worst. He ends up losing that edge guard. Knees gets back. And Blaze is right there. He's there for the 1v1. He's there basically fresh for the 1v1 against a very red knees. But no, they still chose to play it safe, play it smart, and respect the skills of their opponent. They weren't taking any chances. Right? They Absolutely. said, I have this lead. We don't need to overcommit. As cool and as flashy and quickly we would be able to take it if we did go off stage. We do not need to. They had that lead. They were able to hold it down. And now we're going to be going into game number two. It felt like Akno and Knees. I mean, there's a lot of 2v1s that kind of ensued where it was like, hey, I need to run away because it's going to take a long time for my teammates to spawn. I love how much advantage Godly and Blaze take out of those 2v1s. They make sure to get every last drop of damage out of it before their teammate comes back in. And that's why we've seen when Godly or Blaze is in the 1v2 on the other side of that, they have really started to disengage. They did it last uh, game oh against their opponents gosh. because they know how valuable those are. Caught his teammate a little bit there with the side signature, but not too bad. He wasn't in KO damage or anything like that. Blaze is able to get back. By Akno committing so heavily off stage, Ooh. look at what's happening to Akno on the left side. It knees on the right side. They're not really staying that close together, and they're kind of getting punished for it. Just going to be dashing right into the Bryn Desik. Wow. Oh, another DC gets interrupted by his teammate, but it's because he's there with the GC D-Light into the recovery to secure the KO. And Blaze, of course, finds the KO on a knees right after that. So a nice lead for Godly and Blaze here in game two while they're already up 1-0 in this set. Oh, he caught the dodge. Okay, Akno going, committing so heavily. You get the recovery oh, stopped out. His fastball was so good to get away okay. from Akno. That's the wait. You saw that wait. Akno said, I've had enough. I'm going to wait. 
I have enough jumps. I can make it back on. I'm just going to have that damage. Nice. And then later on, I'll be nice. able to take Godly Stock out. Such a good recovery to be able to close that one out. Akno is in it. Knees is in it. They have a lot of damage to make up, but it is doable. Their red team spawning back in. Blaze was able to grab the axe, so they're not both at weapon disadvantage. Oh, Akno ended up getting disarmed in that moment as well. Big axe side air from Blaze. And they're going to back up again, respecting their opponent so much. Knees, can you make it back on here? Yes, you can. And you pick up the spear as well. The Sider comes up, but the D-Light actually ends up saving Knees. That was an incredible D-Light. Tries oh. to go through the end sig a little bit too late, but I like the idea nonetheless. The end light ends up whiffing. Godly's end light doesn't end up whiffing at all because Axe, that hitbox, it's nice. Doesn't have a blind spot like that. No, and no what was that? He went side light nair, and then the immediate response from Akno out of hit stun, the GC side light into the recovery for the KO. Crazy. Godly was not ready for that. He was ready and neither was his second stock. Everybody's on last stock apiece. Akno, you have to be careful. You can't take any big hits. You get too, sent too far off stage and your teammate is going to suffer. Akno playing on the back foot here a little bit here. Able to come in with that sider, looking for that D-Light. Uh, ends up almost got it. it. Blaze almost had the perfect follow up off of the bounce pass from the down air of Godly into his own side air on the axe. Huge down air, able to pop Blaze up. You eat the side air, and now all of a sudden, it is another 2v1. <gasps> his dodge is gone, because he did the chase dodge. There's the side air, he has it back now. Now it's gone, there's the D-Light into the ground pound. And that was a bold choice for Godly to go for there. Uh, that I think he, he could have dropped that, based on how he picked it up in that moment mm -hmm. after the dodge came through. Oh, but it's still we're able to hold it down. Akno and Knee is going to be losing uh, that second game. And now they're going to be taken into game three. They still have another set to play with, of course, if they do end up uh, not getting this one. So what happened there? Why was it so difficult for Blue Team sometimes to get ahead? I felt like, especially on that last stock, Akno was a little afraid. Akno yes, was sticking definitely. to the right side of the stage. And then Knees was just kind of there by himself for a couple of key moments to fend for himself against Red Team. And then Akno Akno did try to get in there, he got a couple of hits in, and then there was a couple of unfortunate drops, right? We saw that with Ensig, that could have been so huge, it didn't actually end up connecting. So, Akno and Knees, they still can do this. I know they still can do this. They're starting to pick up the pieces, but can they solve the puzzle in time? Now, both of them combined, Knees and Akno last game, did 737 damage. Will we look at that number a little bit closer and see if they end up crashing and burning, just like the Boeing 737, max eight? I love being a commentator. You just get to make analogies <laughs> oh, to anything you want. No, just got taken out 19 seconds into the game. The door just blew up the plane. Akno losing his first stock there. Knees still hanging out of the first one. And now all of a sudden looking to get some sort of a jungle going. Akno doesn't actually get the GC side light into the recovery. And he took a couple of hits for it. Slides off with that side sig as Rayman love to do. Rayman, Raymans. I'm not sure what the plural form of that is. And now Knees, oh my gosh, just has to eat that side out. Oh, oh, that's the landing gear gone. I don't know how we're going to get this plane on the ground safely. Akno's already on final stocks. Godly and Blaze still They'll have three to their name, like Mies has two, but oh, this is a mountain they're gonna have to climb here. It's looking, at least at this point, like a 3-0 bracket reset for Godly and Blaze, but all is not lost. Only the set, perhaps. Uh, so at the moment, Akno, really nice weapon toss. Knees, are you going to be able to make it back on? Nice. Godly's D-Sig has yep. your name on it, though, and that is enough to take out Knees' second stock. Oh, my gosh. That coverage. That coverage was amazing. Just in the blind spot, Blaze put out that spear downer through the one place that the D-Sig wouldn't cover. That was remarkable. And they finish it up right there with a beautiful 2v1 combo. That was a four stock for Blaze and Godly. That's a bracket reset, Dara. And it, they didn't make it look hard at all. They no haven't. Disrespect. They haven't. Ugh. What's going on? Winner's side, winner's finals. Knees and, and Akno, they were just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, you know, Blaze and Godly. They were just able to knock them out into elimination sites to begin with. And, uh, 
Blaze and Golly, they're just playing so much better now. They're making sure that every single hit converts into something else. They're not dropping their follow-ups, and most importantly, as we saw with that edge guard, the way that Blaze covered around Godly, that was phenomenal. That just says, hey, you wanted to commit to something, okay? That's okay. I'm going to cover the one place that you are not able to do so. And as a result, it seems impossible to come back onto stage against these two. Anytime I see Akno get knocked off stage, he is getting punished for it quite heavily. And that's uh, kind of a far cry from what we saw against Godly and Blaze versus Saphir and Jakey. We yes. saw like several moments where crucial follow-ups, it started with Godly and the follow-up supposed to come from Blaze. Mm -hmm. They were just misplaced. It looked like, I don't know, a misinput, mistiming. I don't know what happened, but it didn't look like characteristic Godly and Blaze. And then now this, this is what we expected. This is what we're used to. This is the Godly and Blaze that we know. And now we are seeing Akno opt for Three, the Brin two. instead this time yes. around. So classic. Pretty Classic, this is, you know, of course, the EU team of Yori. So let's see how it's going to end up working out this time around. So at the moment, again, just sort of splitting off into the little individual 1v1s. Everybody's just exchanging hits, and Godly is the only one unscathed. Huge opening there, putting about 45 to 50 damage on Denise very quickly into this game and taking him out in orange. That is a huge opening for the red oh, team. Oh, no, but you are Don't able to just team touch the corner, just the lip, and as a result, you make it back on. But but is that going to be enough? Akno, once again, left weaponless. Blaze descending on him with the down. Hill. The quick little switch up. The second hit of the end light doesn't actually come out here. Oh, Blaze was looking for the spear reset after the side light. Wasn't able to find it. There's the D-Zig and it's his own teammate. There's the side light Nair, the recovery. And the recovery from Blaze. Beautiful follow-up after the whiff recovery from Godly. Yes, he whiffed the recovery, but he didn't get punished by Knees' side air after. And Blaze was there right at the perfect time to put Knees onto his final stock. This is looking brutal for blue team. Brutal for blue team, but you know what? Actually, not all that awful, right? Because the stock count is almost even had in Abin Funi, so Niz has just to be the one to be a little bit more careful. Godly and Blaze, though, they're looking to quickly erase Niz's existence Nies out of here. can't land. He straight up could not land for a very long time until Akno came in and put a hurt on one of the red team members. There's the end light. Again, a punish. Akno got one hit. The red team got two on him. So still, a net bonus, and they get it again, and the neutral signature also hits Niz. Blaze is keeping Godly steady this game. Blaze is the one that is constantly on the ground patrolling with D-Light, with Sidelight, able to get that in N-Sig as well, following up off of Godly so, so well. Knees continuously denied of a weapon, pressing that D-Sig, doesn't actually connect it, gets a side-Sig against Akno as well. The damage to blue team doesn't stop up until Blaze's second stock is finally gone. Knees is trying his best here. He is dominating on his final stock, which means he's picked up three KOs without falling out of the game. Doing okay. his best to level up here late. Will it be enough? Yeah, Blaze oh, was just able to get out too. of harm's way. Didn't get any 2v1 combos done against him. And now that end light comes out. Knees is so deep off stage. Akno, you have to fend for yourself a little bit. Side light neutral a little bit late. We missed space. I don't know what happened, but Knees was able to dodge out of it. Oh. Edgeguard set up and Blaze is right there. He is right there to help his teammate. There's a down air. Shutting down Knees on his final stock. Taking him out of the game. Whose weapon toss was that? Was that Akno's weapon toss? Was that Akno's spear that got uh, thrown to the right side when, you know, Deez was a little too busy with the oh. red team? I, I actually, I, I don't know the answer to that. Well, we might just find out in I the replay. I was seeing Deez eat that down air from, I believe it was Godly. We'll just have to see. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit better this game around, right? We, start, we oh, started the to see them. there's toss that hits Blaze, and then there's the down air. Okay, yeah, Akno's <laughs> just got that stock. So, you know, we have another 1-0 lead from Blaze and Godly here. They're looking super, super good. Again, I just want to keep talking about this dynamic over and over again, which is... I want to hear about it. The, Blaze is the one that is standing on the ground. Blaze is the one that is sitting there, especially with Axe on hand. Whenever Blaze has Axe, side lights, D lights, end lights, he makes sure to not only catch everybody's landings, but he is always prepared. He is laser focused onto his teammate. He is ready to follow up off of Godly. He was able to connect a good amount of N6 as a result. And Godly is the one, especially with gauntlets on hand, He's the one that's kind of jumping on people. When he's got Axe on hand, he's sort of descending upon them with a lot of downers. I love the dynamic that we are seeing really blossom between Godly and Blaze uh, now that they have had enough time to play.
And I'm glad you pointed out the, the signature usage, specifically on the Spear with those insigs. Also on the Axe as well. But if we look at the damage he did on Spear, it's 61 total, mm -hmm. which is basically like probably the D-Sig that he hit, the side light that he hit, and like a uh, Spear Neutral Sig that he hit. And then everything mm -hmm. else was on the Axe, of course, all of the uh, regular light attack kit, but also specifically the, the, the oh, Insig on the boy. Axe, almost taken off the top, not quite. There was a Spear Insig. Side Sig actually hits his teammate. What is the switch from Akno? Oh, I just realized this. Uh, I, I don't know. We also have knees swapping as well over to the Orion. I don't know what this Agno swap is. Hold on. I got to look up his core holla to see. Yeah, this is this is not expected. Blast dude in the U2024. Bad choice, uh, if you ask me. Yeah, not a little uh, controversial at the moment, right? But, oh boy, how do you actually make it back on? You have to eat that GC and light. Is that going to be enough to take off the stock? The decent does actually end up coming out though. Knees, how do you control the ground here? He does have a level 40 Baraza. I believe Cassidy, uh, no, Nyx is his highest level blaster. Nope, Diana is his highest level blaster's legend at level 60. I but see. also, he's probably more on the bow side of things on Diana than the blasters. But right now, you know, I gotta say, the stock count is quite even, and had it not been for Nisa's damage, the damage would be as well. But what an amazing follow-up. Again, Godly begins them. Godly is the one that starts oh. off with those end lights, and then uh, Blaze is the one that keeps on finishing them. That was a tough insig to come out from Godly. That's actually kind of a hard one to pick up in that area that he did. With the movement that it has, with the timing that you need to hit that, Akno did come out of hit stun in time to be able to dodge it. So it's just a really tough one. Okay, the in light. That's one of the reasons that people play blasters in twos is all of the time that Knees was able to set up that mm -hmm. side air to pick up okay. two people after that in light hit. Huge recovery to be able to take it off the top. Potentially massive combo as well. The new trilly not able to follow up into Nisa side. Now coming back onto the stage. Akno looking for a couple of other neutralers. Comes back in there looking for the sidelight. Oh, ends up hitting his own teammate. Okay. Gets that D-Light. Akno still struggling to be able to land here. Tries to switch back up onto Godly. Knee's gonna be chased dodging up. Gets that down immediately. This is your chance to 2v1 Godly. Okay. Knee's on the hit on the back of Godly after he hit Akno. There's the side air, not enough to KO just yet. Okay, huge. Gets that GC D-Light into the recovery. Not enough to take off that stock on Bugasa. Jumps out there looking for the D-Sig. Unsuccessful in doing so, and Akno's last stock is gone. You can make this happen, Nies. You need to get that D-Light cider. You need that recovery. You just need a cider. You need that D-Sig, as Sparky so graciously mentioned. You need anything at all. Okay, Not that. there's the perfect uh, dodge from Godly. As the side sig moved through Godly, he used his iframes. Once he was past Godly with his hitboxes, the turn around side air on the axe. Beautifully placed from Godly. You have to resist the urge sometimes. Right? Well, it's like you think you can catch him off guard. You think you can catch him coming back onto the stage with that side sig. But he was ready. Godly was there. And not only did he make it back on, not only did he avoid that incredibly lethal attack, but he was also able to get the best possible punish, jumping back on with a side air. Excellent spacing. Godly and Blaze are now up 2-0 against Akno and Knees. Akno and Knees were the ones to send them into elimination sites to begin with in that game five. Blaze and Godly 3 0 Akno and Knees in grand finals, uh, set one, and now we're in true finals, the last and final set of EU, and Godly and Blaze are poised to take it 3-0 once again. I think with that side sig, Knees obviously was hoping it, it would make contact. But if it missed, I think he believed that he was going to be far enough past Godly that he could probably fast mm -hmm. fall down below the corner. So if something like that axe side air that came out, if that happened, he would just be enough below it that he wouldn't even need a dodge. And he got the secret third worst option, which is, hey, he's actually there ready yep. and ready to punish you. Also, oh boy, we got some switches from blue team. Look. Double blasters. This is, this Double is. Double blasters. Two blasters on the screen. Double know. blasters. Mm. Four blasters in total, all at once. Well, four individual blasters, two blaster total weapons. And now we'll see if the switch does anything. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Uh, but right now, Akno and Knees, they got to pull a fast one. Godly and Blaze, they're looking so steady. They're looking so strong. Godly whiffing that downer, able to get that new trailer, just pushing Knees off stage and tries to then collapse onto uh, Akno. So Knees is picking the cross pick, of course, the Luke crossover, because this is like the classic. This is when Knees played a lot back when Chronix was the hit in mm -hmm. uh, Europe. 
this is what he would play. And then a lot of people with the Thatch pick, like Boomy was playing Thatch somewhat recently. And that was because a lot of people are like, yeah, Thatch, oh, he almost got bonked. Thatch has an incredible stat line, aside from the defense, but you know, a lot of several people have made low defense work. Oh, knees, he got down and he's done, he's cooked. He got dive kicked, he got sent to the bottom last zone, and that was just enough. Akno trying to keep himself nice and safe, coming back onto the stage, but it was a bit unsuccessful. Okay, does end up connecting it against Blaze, takes out Blaze's fully stock. Oh, that was a bold side heavy, unarmed from Godly in that moment. I don't know what he was really going for there, and knees instantly punished him. Okay, get that side light. You're able to get the neutral and quickly switches back up onto Akno. Akno is bleeding. You go through the GCD light. Was that a little bit too committal? Yes, it was because you did not hit it and you lost your stock for the two because you voluntarily put yourself even deeper off stage. Akno picking up the blasters once more. What can you do with them? What can you make happen with them? You whiff the side or Godly gets a punish. You whiff that GC option. Well, Godly gets a punish. You off stage and Godly gets a punish. Godly hates Akno right now. I don't know why, but he does not let go of him he's like he's just ready to be done i think he's ready to be done with today he didn't mean to go down into the elimination side of things which meant he had to play one more set mm -hmm. than or really two more sets than he expected to today and he's like yes it is finished i've been playing all day and i'm ready to be done <laughs> what is blaze doing off stage blaze gets the down it's to finish it off on akno these on his last stock going for the hail mary <laughs> ground pound and it didn't come out down airs him into the blast zone and blaze and godly are your spring doubles champions now they did it a route a little bit different there was a little bit of a detour into the elimination side of things that a lot of us didn't mm -hmm. see coming but ultimately and this is kind of